Morning all, Stephen here, aka Biggles Brewery. Just doing the first of about six brews in the next two weeks. I'm trying to get three done this week, three done next week. I'm going to turn them hopefully around with some Kvike as it's sitting about 34 degrees in the UK at the moment. <coughs> and the Champions League final's coming up fairly soon, so I've got a little bit of a shindig coming up and not having brewed for a month or so. Definitely going to be needing some more um, beer. So, fingers crossed, touch wood, if it all goes to plan and the dates all keep well, we'll be, um, we'll be in stock. I'll mainly be brewing all my usual house stuff that uh, goes down well at parties. So, today I'm brewing the grapefruit IPA. Nice, simple recipe. Five kilos of marisotta or extra pale marisotta, one kilo of crystal, 100 EBC, and then I will run through the hop schedule later as I can't remember off the top of my head. Finally finished putting up the brewery and getting all the electrics and whatnot installed. I will do a full tour at some point. But for now we're going to uh, quickly get a brew on because there's quite a few empty kegs at the moment. Haven't brewed for about a month or so. Quick question for the UK brewers, those that have got the 16 amp commandos uh, and a dedicated line do you have your max set to 15 or do you bother putting them up to 16 i don't really want to sort of test it too far this is the first brew but i just thought i'd get your guys feedback i have had a proper sparky come in and install all the electric so each one does have its own is it rcd or whatever they're called right got about 35 liters of water Coming up to 65 degrees. And the time it took me to clean the mesh filter at the bottom. I haven't got the new uh, I haven't got the new plate yet. This was already up to strike temp, so we're about 65 where I need it to be. Super simple recipe today. Jeez. Five kilos of extra power. And one kilo of 100 EBC crystal. Four grams of magnesium sulfate. Seven grams of gypsum. Just mashing it nice and smoothly. One kilo of 100 EBC crystal. Just pop the excess crystal in there. Got a load of these jars. Find them really useful for storing grain. All mashed in. Pretty good. should have mentioned that I'm going for my um, usual small batch method where I only sparge with about six litres because I can't bother to get the grain farther out for that. Right, we'll leave it on this mash rest. So it's dirt this a couple of times now just to hopefully increase efficiency. Mm -hmm. But what you will see is there is a little bit of grain to get through. So I probably will end up getting that slotted base plate at some point. Just barged with a uh, about six litres of water. Straight off. Now we're just going up to the boil, see how long this takes. This is the two elements on 15 amps. Let's come up to the boil next to no time at all so i'm going to whack the power down now to 80 percent this is the two elements 80 percent much much more vigorous than uh, when i had it on the 13 amps obviously so i'm gonna go down even lower 
it's about 70% it's a nice boil I will uh, leave it at that hop schedule 20 minutes it's 14 grams of Simcoe 14 grams of Amarillo and then at um, hop stand it's 28 grams of Mosaic 28 grams of Citra 14 grams of Simcoe 14 grams of Amarillo dry hop is 57 grams of Simcoe, Amarillo and Citra. No mosaic in the dry hop. As I'm using Kavike yeast, should be done near enough in about 24 hours. So I'll put that in, hopefully high crowds and tomorrow, this time tomorrow. Just run some boiling wort through the flow chiller, even though it's sanitised. Just like to do that. About 20 minutes to go now. So we'll be putting in the first hop edition. Right, now we're back at the boil, 20 minutes to go, it's first hop edition. As with all good brew days, nice little staple snack. These are barbecue chilli uh, beef jerky and my mosaic sabro pale ale. And flame out. Going to chill it down to 80 degrees now and put in the next um, hop. Tank is about 80 degrees. Gonna stick in the boiled wool hops. Right, leave that for three minutes. Right, and now we're cooling down. Gonna pitch it about 35 for the kvike. Going into the fermenter about 30 degrees. Into the fermenter at 32 degrees. And uh, I'll come check in a couple of hours. About three and a half hours after going into the fermenter. It's already going great guns. Target was 1055, I hit 1054. 